Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight I'm going to try my hand at a traditional draft of Dominaria United. I always keep talking myself back into these traditional drafts. We'll see how it goes. Oh, hey, there's draft uh, things. Flyers Tempo. Kind of explaining the archetypes a little bit. Blue-Black Control. Reckless Aggro. Alright. Domain Stompy. Domain Tokens. Creature Sacrifice. Spell Aggro. Oh, we did that one last time. Domain Midrange. Tokens Aggro Go. Okay, yeah, go wide. Kicker a Ramp. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the traditional draft here. So this will be best two out of three format. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys like the traditional draft or the premier draft format more. In some ways I like the premier draft, in some ways I like the traditional draft. In some ways, I don't like the traditional draft. Uh, also, while we're waiting for the table to fill up, this would be a great time for you guys to take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Usually, when I when I'm like trying to introduce this, this is when it's like things are happening, and I get cut off. All right. Subscribe to the channel before the last person is ready. Alright, here we go. We have a Threats Undetected. A little bit of a weird card. Uh, we have a Cut Down. Weather Seed Treaty. A gold card that's double red. I think I'm going to start off with this uh, cut down. Let's cut things down to size. Destroys a creature with total power and toughness 5 or less. So it feels like it should be pretty good. Uh, or at least decent. I think the other cards are Weather Seed Treaty. Maybe even the Necromass. The gold card. Threats Undetected. Yeah, we'll just start with a cut down. What is this? Choose up to X creatures and or planeswalkers you control where X is a number of times. Just kick those permits phase out. Temporal Firestorm deals 5 damage to each creature and plane. So this is just a board wipe. Ah, uh, that's going to be the pick. There was an uncommon taken over this. What uncommon is taken over this? I don't know. Temporary Lockdown. Exile each non-land permit with mana value 2 or less. Uh, we also have a Tribute to Urborg here. Which is another nice removal spell. We have a Cleaving Skyrider. Also pretty decent card. I think I'll just take the Tribute to Urborg here. And now we have a Shadowrite Priest. Other clerics get plus one, plus one. You can sack a cleric, search for a black creature, and put it onto the battlefield. Though I don't know how many clerics there actually are. But we do have a Phyrexian Rager here, which is probably the best card in this pack-ish. The Mossbeard could be strong, but we'll take the Rager. It's on color for us right now. Uh, Rona. When we cast an instant sorcery, each opponent loses one life. You may cast Rona from your graveyard by discarding two cards in addition to paying other costs. That well, seems reasonable. Four mana, three, four... I 
I will take it. It's between that, the Molten Tributary, or the Withering Necromass. I think those are kind of the three picks I'm looking at at this point. Now there's also the four mana three four trampler. All right, there's a sentry. There's also a runic shot, which is just a fine removal spell. Starting with a bunch of removal spells can't be that bad, right? Then we get a Shouldren's Restoration. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. If it was kicked, you gain life equal to that. Otherwise, you lose that much life. Battle right, take up the shield. Destroy target creature with toughness 4 or greater, or destroy target enchantment. Maybe it will end up being white-black. I'll, I'll destroy some evil today. Battlefly Swarm. Okay, so yeah, we we got past this Temporal Firestorm and didn't see a whole lot else in red. And we have a Griffin Protector. Or another creature enters the battlefield. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the Battlefly Swarm. We know we're gonna be black here. A withering necromass. I can just be a large beat stick. I'm not a big fan of four mana two two flyers. Oh, the threats undetected even came back. I'm gonna take the withering necromass here. Phyrexian warhorse, or another necromass. I'm gonna take a warhorse. We might be going into white black, is what it looks like. The phalanx came back. That's a good card. Temporary Lockdown, I feel, is also good. I'm going to take the Phalanx, though. Because we can even... I mean, that's a two-mana 2-2. Two -two. Another Necromass. I think we're in the right lane. And a final pick, Toxic abomination sarah paragon now we're really in the right lane all right what does this thing do it's a mythic rare so it's going to be the pick once during each of your turns you may play a land from your graveyard or cast a permanent with mana value three or less from your graveyard if you do it gains when this permanent is put into a graveyard from the battlefield exile it and you gain two life and it's a three four flyer for four mana that's insane other good cards in this pack Another Runic Shot, Tribute to Urborg. Faith Bonder can be decent. Uh, founding the Third Path. That's okay. Nail or Naily. Oh, we're taking that. Drag to the bottom. Domain each creature gets minus X minus X until out of turn where X is 1 plus the number of basic land types you control. Oh my gosh, and we have Aaron, the Nalia's Ruin. What is going on? Well, we don't have a lot of extra stuff like that. And if we're white, if we're white black, we kind of want a lot of small creatures, so I probably don't want the board wipe here. I'm going to take Aaron. Another temporary lockdown. Oh, and we have this thing. 2-2 two, two with death touch. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever an opponent, another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Yeah, that'll be the, the pick here, easily. And we can probably count on that temporary lockdown coming back. Not seeing a lot of the lands, though. Vampire... Eh, wants creatures dying. I'm good with that. Be a nice flyer. There's a, another workhorse. Well, that's going to be the pickup here. I, I think we definitely found our lane. Uh, heroic Charge. Griffin Protector. 
artillery blast, or I could even go for maybe a splash. I don't think a green splash is too greedy. We, we're not seeing, like, any of the lands, though. That's the uh, oddest part. Is nobody else playing black at this table? I mean, I'd kind of like Shouldred's Restoration, but not over... Okay, well, we have a blue splash, but that's not quite what we're looking for here. Just take another... How many creatures do I have right now? Oh, I have 14. How do I have 14 creatures? All right, I'll take another cut down then. Tribute to Urborg came back. The Faith Bonder also came back. But it is a cleric. Uh, but I'll take the tribute to Urborg. We want to kill stuff. Alright, this next pack would have had the rare. Okay, we did not get the rare. Take a splatter goblin. Uh, nothing really here for us. I'd take the worm, I guess. Could also be a realm where we splash blue. We've just seen, like, absolutely none of the lands. Maybe if we can, like, aggressively pick lands in pack three. We're going to be looking for green, white, green, black. Oh, we have Toxic Abomination. Other clerics I can... Do I have other clerics in this? Oh, there's a really easy way to look. Uh, cleric, I have two. So I have one other cleric. I mean, I... Yeah, I'll take the librarian. I think we're fine on two drops. That is a late root wall. I'll take it. Soldiers. Do we need soldier? How many soldier things do we have here? We only have one other soldier, so... It also puts a plus one, plus one counter on... Oh, only on soldiers we control. All right. Uh, the knight seems really good. There's a green dual land, but not... We need it to be green, black, or green, white. And we'd want to get a few of them here. Oh my, we have Captain's Call, Warhorse, Rager, but we have a Mythic. Joda the Unifier, and I am going with the Draft Every Mythic thing. So before I talk myself out of this and pick another common, uh, yeah, I just, I just want to be efficient in my collecting as well. And so efficiency kind of dictates that you want to pick all the mythics. Kind of talked a little bit about that last time. All right. And once again, we get, we've been seeing like almost no lands. There's a cleric. Angel with a kicker, we don't really have. Phalanx. I'm going to take the Phalanx. Maybe we can still find, like, a Captain's Call. That'd be cool. Uh, another Rager or another Extinguish the Light. That's a tough pick. I think we have a lot of... We kind of have a lot of kill spells already. I'm going to take the Rager here. Yeah, there's just no lands. It's like we opened all these and then uh, everybody just grabbed all the lands. I'll take this leech, the war leech here. Prime Toughness equal to the highest mana value among cards in a graveyard. We have a few that can have high mana value. So that could just be another nice a beat stick. S 
stall for time could be interesting. Charismatic Vanguard could also be interesting. I don't think we need more removal, and I don't think we need the self-mill. I'm gonna go for this. I mean, okay, we've seen the green-red one. We have seen that. Why can't this be a cleric? Uh... Well, we can't really kick the tribute to Urborg, so I may as well take a splatter thug. There's another rager. What does this thing do? Uh, return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only if a non-skeleton died under your control this turn. Let's have another workhorse. I'm going to take another rager. Yeah, and we see absolutely no lands. That's okay. I guess I'll take a... Yeah. Let's take an uncom... Another rager? Alright, this is the Phyrex Phyrexian rager deck. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab an uncommon. Battlefly swarm? Sure. I don't think I'm running Toxic Abomination. I had a last pick stall for time. I was kind of thinking about taking that card the first time, and uh, we just didn't. Alright, so we have a lot of cuts that need to be made. Let's get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to get... Just, wow. Okay. Let's uh, look at our creature here. Creature count here. 22 creatures. Yeah, we can probably cut some of these. As good as some of them are. We don't really have things that make a lot of tokens. We're, well, we have the War Horse. But other than the War Horse, we really don't don't have much. Search for a black creature card. Another cleric. This is my only other cleric. But I mean, this is still a 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. But I don't, I don't think it's very good. I don't think it's very needed. Battlefly Swarm can trade with things. I'm not sure that we have enough creatures to really want. Like, we have two War Horses, which are fine. But I don't think we have much to be doing with that. Maybe just one Battlefly Swarm. What are we looking at now? That's still 27. We still gotta cut four cards out of this. Oh, this thing wants us to sacrifice creatures, but... I guess I'm going to get rid of stall for time. Because I think we just have plenty of just removal as it is. I can almost run this as a 16 land deck. We've got four Phyrexian Ragers. So I think I'm going to do that. Maybe we don't need the War Leech. Like, it could easily be a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7. Seven, seven. I 
Maybe I don't want two withering necromass. All right, yeah, let's go with that. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Let's go with that. Uh, creatures, let's... Wait, what happened? Why does my deck say it has 40... Oh, how did that get in the deck? That wasn't there, neither was Toxic. What happened? That wasn't in the deck either. What in the world? Uh, okay, I can't... I can't explain that. Let's see, we've got a bit more black going on than white. See, so yeah, I think just eight, nine. I didn't really find any dual lands or chances to find our dual lands. There's a lot of brightness on that swamp. I don't like it. Yeah, whoops. Also, whoops. Yeah, we're going with the uh, eight, eight mana base. And our star card can be the Sarah Paragon, the Mythic here, which we now just took out of our deck. There we go. You know, one other thing I want to do, they have these... I've been kind of wanting to get some good full art basics. Let's go ahead and get these. Yeah. Let's put those in our deck, shall we? I gotta get back to our event. Yeah, they're easier to find. They're full art. They look nice. Let's do that. And let's see. Okay, so I have. So so as the as of the upload of this, I still have a ton of like a laughable amount of other drafts to upload from uh, Baldur's Gate still. So those will still be getting uploaded. And uh, I did do some traditional. Yeah, this is good. Any third land, and we've got these ragers online. I did do some traditional drafts uh, towards the end, like after I made it to mythic in the series. Oh, yeah, this is great. So opponents can't gain life, and for two mana, this can get a little bit bigger. We're up against white blue. Let's go attacking here. So that is going to deal three damage. Because they've got two. Yeah, so I can't even save that. That's fine. Let's we'll play a Rager. Get our card advantage going here. Juniper Order Root Weaver. Very well. Uh, we can just go attacking here and then play our Rager and Battlefield Swarm. But anyways, so in the in those other traditional drafts that I did, I had a little bit of a curse going on where I would I would lose the first round. 
in like just this horrendous fashion. The opponent would just like steamroll me or whatever, and then I'd win rounds two and three, or, or matches two and three, I should say. Opponent is offering a trade. Yeah, I'll trade. And if they want to play a trick, then that's probably going to be... Alright, cool. That gets the trick out of their hand. I'm cool with that. Could also play our Necromass this turn. Let's go attacking. Yeah, these Ragers were kind of free cards anyways. Yeah, I'm fine with that. This could be Essence Scatter, though. I'm going to pump the brakes there. I, I don't want to run my Necromass into a uh, Essence Scatter. I know we don't have a lot going on here, but we have removal in our hands, so, like... They play another creature. Okay, our opponent is obviously stuck on lands. Okay, there was no when I had it when I didn't have another creature, like I really didn't want to risk that. There's no reason not to play this. I'll just play out another withering necromass. Well, our first withering necromass. Really glad there was no counters with all this. Alright. And it has Ward 2, so I can't just extinguish the light here. Uh, but I can just kill this. Yep. Resolve, we'll pay it. And we go attacking for 5. We have lethal. We have super lethal next turn. Not going to play our Splatter Goblin. Just in case, I don't know if there's like a rat. Okay, there's no wrath. Oh, the doggy's having a good time. Probably better than our opponent. Yeah, I don't think there's a reason to change anything here. Although, maybe I could see... Like the War Leech coming in, just have have more bigger creatures. Well, we're playing against Blue White, so we didn't really see too many creatures from them. From Liquiquin. Destroy Evil Sarah Paragon. We can cast most of this stuff in our hand, even though we've only got two lands. We're going to keep this. Oh, awesome. Do you need a second white source to get our Sarah Paragon online? Oh, opponent had gr Okay, so that's what was going on. That's what we're doing, huh? Um, yeah, I kind of want this dead. Dead before they can protect it. Go attacking. Okay, so I can play lands or cast permanent with mana value three or less. So if this dies, we could even cast it again off the Paragon. Scout the wilderness. Of course, none of that's happening right now. We just keep poking our opponent here. Opponent is up to five mana from ramping. We still have a couple removal spells. And I can runic shot that. I want to get full value out of these war horses. If opponent wants to trade, I'm fine with that as well. Doesn't want to trade. But I wanted also to bait them into attacking with this acolyte so we can kill it with runic shot. Yeah. I can't destroy it. It's not evil enough. Oh wait, toughness forward grade. I could have destroyed that. Oh, yeah, whatever.
Well, I guess to be mana efficient, I would want to play the War Horse here. I'll just go horsing around. Hopefully there's no counter. There wasn't in the last game. All right. Citizen's Arrest. Well, that is rude. Not that the stuff I'm doing is much nicer. But, you know. Okay, we can cut this down if we needed to. Kind of want to get Paragon going here. I kind of want the thing... Let's get this thing dead. There could be a shore up. I'll even... Yeah, I'll even uh, double trick here. Because our opponent is low on cards, so trading one for one here is just, like, perfectly fine. We have another War Horse. I'm going to hold back the Swarm, because I can block and trade, giving it Death Touch, and then use the Sarah Paragon, and... Okay, this is exactly what we're doing here. So we'll just trade, and then we'll Paragon and get it back. This is great for us. There's a turtle for our opponent. It is a 2-5. We cannot cut it down to size. There's a Necromass. We're just going to play our Paragon here. There's no blue mana up, so I don't have to move on the counter. Okay, now when it's put into the graveyard from Battlefield, it gets exiled and we gain two life. This card seems very strong. What is this? Like, I could triple block, but uh, there's no need to do that. I don't trust the situation. Scout the Wilderness. Kicked, so there's a couple tokens. There's a Phalanx, which is a wonderful draw, because it also lets us keep open Cut Down and the Battlefly Swarm. Uh, so we can go attacking in the air here. Uh, we don't have a use for white mana. We do have a use for black and black. So definitely want to be doing it like that. I will trade the Swarm for the Tide Pool Tutor. Turtle. The tutor. <laughs> Alright, well that's kind of annoying. It's going to lock our phalanx out of the game for a little while. I think we're still fine here. Uh, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine with trading. Trading is fine for us when our opponent only has one card in hand and we have, you know, we have all this stuff. This is on temporary lockdown. Our momentum has been impeded. That can scry. As long as it doesn't get first strike. Uh, that's... Let's not do that. Does that fizzle the whole spell? I'm also going to activate this. Yeah, that does fizzle the whole spell because the target was gone. Alright, so we gain two. We have a bunch of stuff. Uh, we cast this with Kicker, most mana-efficient thing we can be doing. And we go attacking. Alright, it looks like I'm going to break the... Oh, gosh. It looks like I'm going to break the curse of the... Uh... Oh, this does not need to attack. I I'm going to break the curse of... Yeah, yeah. We're going to sack this creature and save my horse. The curse of not 
being able to uh, win the first round. I'm going to powder puff him. Pollen puff. Whatever this is. Now yeah, we'll just get more rage. What's also great is if these ragers die, we can cast them again with the Sarah Paragon. Alright, that's going to... I think you want to keep this locked. That's going to... It's this still isn't untapping. Could almost just stack things and I'm not sure what to target with this. Cause our warhorse can still attack in just fine. I could even just play more fodder for it. I would think locking down the Paragon for another turn. And then we can only go in with the Warhorse. Actually, I can swing with both, because if if he blocks the Frost Strider on here, I just sack two things to the Warhorse and get in for lethal. That would be good. Our opponent is roping us, but he hasn't been doing that so far. We'll interact with the background a bit. That thing's neat. Those are like the two main things, but then there's also all kinds of textures. We've got the, uh, oh, we've got pets to interact with as well. We've got water, we've got, like, grass and leaves, grassy field. The music here, the background music for this, it, it's not my favorite. You know, I think that's still going to, uh, the Boulder's Gate background still has that title. But my favorite, uh, the, the background music, it sounds very familiar. Like it's appeared somewhere else in Magic before, whether it's been on Arena or in like, I don't know, one of the other Magic the Gathering video games. Does anybody remember the Duels of the Planeswalkers games back from like 2012? Uh, 2012 era? Actually, there was one that came out, I think, in like 2009 or 2010, and then there was like 2012 through 2015. Okay, our opponent is just wearing down the clock. So while they're doing that, again, if you didn't subscribe earlier, make sure you take a moment to subscribe now. I uh, usually the black white. Okay, yeah, there's they're just doing that. It's kind of poor sportsmanship. There's no real reason to do that. You're not really gaining anything from that. All right, two more matches remain. Batman. Sh All right, quiet, everybody. Be quiet for Batman. Don't let Batman hear you clicking the subscribe button. Uh, okay, so Batman gets to decide to play first. We're missing a white source. We don't have a play unless we get a third land, but you know what? We've got Ragers after that. We can probably stabilize fairly well. We're going to keep this. And see what comes of it. Opponent is on red-green. Oh, cool. And we have... We have uh, white up now. Yep, we're fine. Uh, so the white-black archetype would kind of probably prefer to be more... Um, have more creatures, like like get some captain call captain's calls in there, like go a bit wide. Uh, we can attack here. Opponent not interested in trading. I'm just going to be mana efficient here. We're not going to be able to block this 3-3 right now. But that's okay. We can runic shot it. Actually, we'll play the phalanx next turn. 
No need to runic shot when we can just play a creature that's bigger than it. Okay, so opponent is Jund Colors. Or Riveteers. Uh, if you're on Streets of New Japan. Oh, gosh. Things are getting heated. That's a problem. To make it, the experience will do one one might good. Monk token with prowess. Exile the top two cards. Choose target creature and opponent controls whenever you attack. Deals damage equal to the number of attacking creatures to that creature. You get an emblem with whenever you cast a red instant or sorcery. Copy it twice. Well, we can't allow that to happen. Um, this is definitely a problem. So our phalanx could just die. And we have a bunch of ragers. Uh, and this only destroys tapped creatures. All right. I get our phalanx out here and not attack into the planeswalker, which can just make another token to chump block. Could also minus two and attack with both and kill our rager. I don't feel like that's the best attack for them. Probably just gonna keep making more monks and monkeying around here. Alright, what do we have to deal with Jaya? Yep, just more monks. Impress me. Okay, well, our Phalanx is going to have to attack. It would have to be double blocked. In theory. Gotta go after Jaya. Alright, that's a trade. Okay, we're horsing around a bit. But when they're not attacking me, I can't use this runic shot. Opponent does technically have all five colors of the mana. Will do you good. That's not good. Oh, that just brings back the turtle. Tribute to Urborg. That could help. We could also sack the splatter. Could be okay here. Let's go attacking first. And see how they want to block. Just gonna block like that, huh? Okay. kind of feel like killing that. That would use almost all of our mana. Let's play a Splatter Goblin again. And we'll pass there. I, I'm just kind of worried about this minus two. There's also minus one to exile the top two. Yeah. I improvise better than most people plan. Okay, so they can play a Toxic Abomination. So now my Warhorse could attack in. I could sack a Goblin before that to kill a Monk, and there's no easy block there. 
I think I'll just kill the Toxic Abomination. Let's see what attacks here. I want some attacks so I can, like, runic shot something as well. That's not being played with Kicker. Alright. And there's still no attacks. Gosh. Alright, kill that. My turn. Extinguish the light. Alright. Let's sack one of these. And kill that, so that can't block. Go after Jaya. Wait, is this... That can kill Planeswalkers. <laughs> uh, I'll let you chump block. I could actually save this, but... But then I can't cast Extinguish the Light in the same turn. But we just get, we gotta kill this Jaya. So once Jaya's gone, there's not a whole lot else that I'm super worried about. I'm lucky I'm nice enough to just leave. Is that what we're calling it now? Actually, this, this was a perfect card to kill Jaya because it's extinguished the light. Look, Jaya's like dying or something on there. Oh, what is this crap? Who invited this crap? Okay. Uh, that blocks, that can block. We'll take a little bit of damage. I can runic shot that. We're not doing too bad here. Let's see what we draw off of a Rager, though. It's not really what we want to be drawing off of a Rager. As I'll play another Rager. Destroy Evil. Alright. I can double block the Bog Badger. I just don't have a good block on the 2-1 token that's generating every turn. Oh, well, that's rude. Of course, this thing isn't tapping. Alright, kill the Bog Badger. I can destroy evil, but there's... It's not evil enough for me to destroy... Just getting another two one every time. Ooh. Oh, but I don't have the uh I don't have the kill a tapper thing. Oh, and then there's a wall to block us. Alright. Yeah, clearly somewhere along the line there I misplayed with uh Hey, my war horse is back. Perfect. Play that with kicker. Now we have a way to block that silly 2-1, at least for the time being. Sarah Paragon would be amazing here. Yeah, we block. Alright, do you have anything? You have a land. Okay. Ooh. That's a cool card. Uh, 
Uh, now we can actually go attacking with the War Horse. Because now when their token, they create the token and it dies, this is going to get bigger. That's cool. That's very cool. Yep, you make a 2-1. It's gonna die. Oh, it's toxic abomination. Which is helping us kill our opponent faster. Cut down. Oh uh, yeah, let's do that. Just kill why am I not killing that? Oh, I know why. Because I know what I'm doing. I think I know what I'm doing. I could have killed. I could kill that with cut down. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the three two, three plus two is five. That's the better thing to kill. Uh, but we're actually fine here. Because it's just going to grow this thing. Uh, do I want to go down to five, though? Probably not. Alright, well, I definitely... I mean, it doesn't matter. We Okay, we'll do it like this. Hopefully there's nothing that... So we have a lethal threat in the air. That's already dead. Oh, you're late to the party. Uh, yep, yeah, we just attack. Oh, there we go. Alright, so opponent has Jaya. Jaya and a lot of... Maybe we could play Stall for Time as a way to kind of get in. There were a lot of things that weren't destroyed by Destroy Evil. And maybe I even swap one of these phalanxes out. Let's get another flyer. Because maybe even just a five mana three, four flyer could be decent here. I don't like the sound of that. I'd rather have stall for time. We have two cut downs. I will just do it like that. We keep the cut downs. Get rid of the destroy evil, because we saw like one four mana or four toughness thing. Oh, that is gross. There's Extinguish the Light, but uh, cannot keep that. Alright, we can keep this. I guess it's going to be the Splatter Goblin. we got to keep our lands. we got to keep Extinguish the Light. So we don't just auto-lose to Jaya. But we very much weren't auto-losing. And there's the Toxic Abomination. I'm just going to get rid of that. I need a second Black Source. So we gain a life, we lose a life with this. So we're essentially just drawing a card with this for free. 
And whatever another creature I can... Okay, so all, it's all about creatures I control. And then our opponent loses a life. And this also has Death Touch itself. Pretty good card. Yeah, I don't really want to take four here. I think I'll still take two. We'll, still, we'll go back to losing life uh, off of this. I just splattered down. That was another reason I, I pitched the one, because we have more. There's a wall. All right. Ooh, didn't find a land. Isn't that top six? You look at the top six and you didn't find a land. That's painful. Very painful whiff. Another mountain for our opponent. Not going to extinguish the light on the wall. That's, that's not worth it. And we'll just play out our stuff here. I don't think I should be worried about a sweeper here. If a sweeper happens, then it's it, it happens. Going to pollen buff our opponent. There's the crystal grotto, giving them a scry. Okay, so there weren't. Batman wasn't desperate for lands here. He had had all the lands in his hand already. Uh, what am I hoping to draw? I would like more actual. Well, that happens. Frankly, destruction is best left to the professionals. There's the prowess monk. Everything they know. Uh, just get rid of that, please, and thank you. Round two. Just let me catch my breath. Splatter thug. I mean, it would just trade with that. I don't really need to do that right now. If they want to attack with the 1-1 one, one prowess, that's fine. Then my Splatter Goblin can go attacking again. Alright, and now we have a little bit of a stare down. I'm going to leave this back to give it death touch on something. Okay, well, we both seem to be finding all of the lands. Oh, hey, there we go. Can I cast anything? That. I can cast that off of it. So... Could also end up casting the splatter... But I don't need to do that right now. We're gonna we're gonna play the Sarah Paragon. Oh, I thought I needed to play the land there. I guess I did not. We'll just replay this. Opponent is in massive trouble. Uh oh, I guess. Maybe I did need to replay the land. Okay, so this swarm is not going to block because it can't... Yeah, we had to tap black for this. We did not have to tap black for this. Stupid auto-tapper. Uh, but we're replaying our sadistic pilgrim. Oh, are you fighting me or something? This looks like a tail flowstone if you okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just cast it again next turn. That's No biggie. I got a 3-4 that I'm not going to be blocking with. Oh gosh. That thing is pretty good. Cut down. Okay. Okay. I guess we go attacking with this. I 
I can attack with the Splatter Goblin. It's just gonna trade with the Monk. I guess I don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. We can just replay this. We gain a life. We'll gain more life when this stuff dies. Yep, that is happening. Alright, what attacks do you have? Okay. Those are certainly attacks you can make. Uh, we'll block like this, and we'll just activate this ability. So, all that stuff is going to trade. Uh, Splatter Goblin, we're going to kill that off. Yeah, and then we still gain back a bunch of life. And then we can recast the Rager. Okay, yeah, our deck is good. That was not a very good attack by our opponent. That sort of thing can kind of happen sometimes in these uh, more traditional drafts because you're not matched with people based on any sort of ranking. Uh, it is matching based on, you know, win-loss ratio, so we're probably against another 2-0 opponent here. I don't even to try and pronounce that name. Uh, we'll play first. Sure. Pretty good opening hand here. Okay, come on. Puff, 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 puff. Oh, hello, opponent. Uh, do I want to do this, or I want to do this? Let's get our Death Toucher out here. Because then we start gaining life. We gain a life, lose a life. That's a Blight Pile. That's somewhat annoying. Rager is the most mana efficient. I'm going to play this. There's a tribute. I don't think I need to attack into that 3 3 right now. And Splatter Goblin would have been the most efficient way to deal with it. I kind of just want a double spell here. There's no way our opponent double blocks this. Yeah, I didn't think so. And then let's get... Let's get our knight going. We'll say good night to our opponent. Oh my gosh, what does this thing do? Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. When an opponent draws a card, they lose two life. Oh, gosh. That's not good. Okay, we do want them to attack, so... Let's go attacking. I'm just going to play this. Okay, there's Extinguished Light as well. And that has Death Touch. I don't really need to Splatter Goblin here. I suppose I could play it to be... Ha, huh, yeah, you do not gain life. Shouldered the Apocalypse. Oh, that's another one of the Frexian Praetors. Very strong card. Good thing I've got two removal spells in hand for it. Uh, taking six here? Alright. I should just play the splatter. No, because I, I wanted I didn't want to like provoke any sort of 
triple block and, and like prevent this from attacking. All right. My turn. Phalanx. Okay, this... I've had enough of this. Okay, good, that's dead. Something's gotta stay back to block this 3-1. That needs to gain me life, so let's just attack with those two. Okay, cool. Actually, it's not cool. Shouldred's gonna be coming back. Whatever. Replay stuff. Shouldered's not coming back that quickly, though, because that's five mana to activate, and then another four mana cast it, and then when when our opponent recasts the Shouldered, we can just kill it right away, and we'll be fine. All right, that was unfortunate. I like the attack there. War Horse, very cool. I think we attack, let's attack with all three here. Like I know that invokes a trade on the Splatter Goblin, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I just, I want to keep, I want to keep the, uh, Sadistic Pilgrim alive to keep our life total up, since we don't have one of our own flyers to deal with that. I might bring in another... You kicked that! Darn it! Oh, where our opponent's on two mana. Okay, and doesn't have black, and we have cut down. So we'll cut this down to size, and this should be game. Yes. Do I want the other flyer? Well, I think, I think I do want another battlefly swarm in this deck over we want destroy evil A splatter goblin doesn't feel super impressive here I could swing into the 3-3 three, three defender thing. I'm soaking a lot of stuff, like with the tribute to Urborg. Yeah, we'll try it like this. I just want uh, the, the Phyrexian Swarm to trade with the uh, Shouldered. All right, cool. And we get our Splatter Goblin, we get our Runic Shot. Do you have removal for that already? Okay. Well, that's fair enough. There's a Drake. Probably just Runic shot that. Well, we'll see if Shouldered is going to make an appearance here. Well, that is very much not Shouldered. Honestly, 
I don't need to runic shot that Drake. I need to get this going. Can't cast the Splatter Goblin right now, but if there's no answer to the Sarah Paragon. Okay, there's an answer to the Sarah Paragon. This card's going to let them, like, filter away extra land. Well, they're not filtering away extra land, so... I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, what is this thing? A defiler... Oh, no, our opponent defiled themselves. Additional cost to cast a blue permit spell and you pay two life. Um, wherever you cast a blue permit spell, draw a card. Aw, uh, that's got to go. That's got to go right now. We have a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to attack to invoke an attack on this and then make our thing a 5-5. Five, five. Maybe I don't do that, because if Shoulder it appears, or if that appears... I could kill the Soaring Drake and then I have a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, there's a Swarm. So the Swarm would totally block. I would prefer if it didn't, though. But, yeah, what more can I do? I get rid of that. Creature dies, this becomes a 5-5. Five, five. We attack. And next turn we could even attack for 6. I like it. This feels like the best chance we got. Okay, don't get anything relevant, please. That's all I'm asking. Cool. Play Shouldered. That's not Shouldered. Okay, opponent's dead. Because we kill their thing... Kill their thing, attack for six, we win. This thing is pretty cool. Good game, opponent. Uh, and this was actually... This is a three-win result. Alright, maybe I'm going to do more of uh, traditional drafting. Why, well, I don't know. Uh, I will say, before I did this, I did a couple of other drafts that I'm not uploading, premiere drafts that I'm not uploading, uh, where the games just went horribly, horribly wrong. And that's not always the most entertaining thing. I was getting a bit frustrated, too. I actually, I kept losing to this card, I swear, in like five, four or five of the games that I lost out of the uh, two other drafts, it was it was to this card. And, like, just a board of wide tokens. We never got to really do much with Aaron here. Uh, but he is insanely good. You get a few tokens out, and suddenly he's permanently buffing the entire team. He's a, just a very efficient costed 3 mana, 3-3 three, three with Menace. Um, even when I did kill this on site with, like, a Lightning Strike opponent, had, like, the way to ways to buy him back from the graveyard. Uh, yeah. But anyways, our deck was pretty good. I think we got to see, well, everything except Aaron, we got to see in action. Did we not even get a... We have four Phyrexian Rangers. That was really cool. Sarah Paragon, amazing mythic. Uh, Warhorse, very nice common. I gotta say, it looks a little underwhelming. But uh, it's just two bodies, and then it's, it's a sacrifice thing that... This is just very hard to kill in combat. This thing was nice, too. And the Phalanx, Necromass, those are always nice cards. The uh, These big creatures that get cheaper. Didn't really have room for this in our deck, but uh, I don't think we needed it. 
most of our stuff was cheap, and if we were playing these, we would want them to stay in play and not be in the graveyard. So this might go better in, like, I feel like a black-green sort of deck, where you can have a lot more top-end. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, it, it clearly just didn't feel needed here. Splatter Goblins, pretty decent two-drops. They can trade with three toughness creatures, potentially. Um, Knight of Dusk's Shadow, very good as well. We had a lot of good removal. And then Battlefly Swarm. We, we had to cut to the chase. Battlefly Swarm is a decent one drop. Decent enough. Can block basically anything, and you only need one mana open to give it Death Touch. And yeah, rebuying all these like just efficient creatures from our graveyard with the Sarah Paragon was absolutely insane. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll collect our prize. Let me know if you like the traditional drafts more than the um, premier drafts in the comment section. I think for now, I might do a couple, at least a couple more of these premier drafts. And for now, I'll take my leave.